All right guys, welcome back to the workshop. So first of all, I just wanna say, I hope you're all having a fantastic Christmas, eating loads and drinking way too much. But if you are drinking, stay away from the power tools, but I'm sure you don't need me to tell you that. So as promised in the last video, I said I would do a quick video on the Lexivon Mitosaur Protractor. So this is the Lexivon Mitosaur Protractor and it's the aluminium or aluminum, however you want to say it, Mitosaur Protractor. So it comes in a simple box. It's got directions on the back of the box in how to use it for inside corners and outside corners. So open the box. So you've got your Lexivon has you covered. Limited lifetime warranty. Then you've got your instruction, which basically goes into detail how to use the tool. I um, mean, it is fairly self-explanatory, but definitely worth reading if you've never used one before. And then we have the protractor itself. Now, as I've said, this is made of aluminium or aluminum, however you want to say it. There are plastic versions. Um, I went for the aluminum one because it's going to be a lot stronger. And plus, these are laser etched. So the scale is never going to wear off. And I think this one looks nicer because it's black and it's shiny so you'll see there's right in on both arms see if i can zoom in so you can see it so this one says use outer scale to set mitosaur settings for fitting a single piece to an angle and then this one mitre cut use inner scale reading to set mitosaur settings for an accurate mitre joint cut so you'll see there's two scales on it. You've got an inner scale and an outer scale. So for example, if you wanted to find a single angle, you're gonna be using the arrow on the inside against the scale on the outside. So you'll see it goes up in twos. So you'd find your angle and whatever it reads, so for argument's sake that would read 50. So you'd know that the angle you need to cut is 50. Then if you're doing a mitre cut, you're gonna use the other arrow, but this time you're gonna use the inner scale. So you would move it around until you find your angle. So for argument's sake, put it dead on 45. You can see that 45 on the inner scale point into the outer arrow reads 45 and you basically just move it and it's as easy as that right so i've covered the scale up with some masking tape i'm just going to set the mitre saw at a random angle that i won't know until it's cut so I'll take my first piece and I'm just going to move it around, make sure it's not in one of the preset angles. Um, I'm just going to do it about there, lock it in place. And then I'll make a cut. And then take another bit and I'm going to actually flip it round upside down this time so I don't have to move the saw the opposite direction. Put it on. And then I'm going to glue these together. That's going to give me an angle that I don't know, just for demonstration purposes.
Right, so on a protractor, you've got two scales, one on the outside and one on the inside. You'll see there's an arrow here and there's an arrow down here. Now, if you're just trying to work out a single angle, then you're going to use this arrow, which is marked single cut, with the outer scale. Now, if you're trying to cut a mitered angle, so in effect you're halving the angle, you want to use the inner scale against the outer arrow. So you'd obviously move it to whatever angle you want it, and then read off the angle, depending on whether you're doing a single angle or a mitered angle. So this is our random angle that I cut on the mitre saw. So if I wanted to do an inside corner, just say this is your skirting boards and I wanted to put some quarter round trim on, you'd basically get your angle protractor and you want to open it up and push it so it's flat down both sides against the wall and then once you've got it in place you can literally check the angle so because I'm doing a mitre I want to use the outer arrow and if we zoom in on that that means that is about 36 degrees going by that thereabouts so I'm gonna come over to my mitre saw set it to 36 degrees lock that in place And I'll put it to 36 degrees the other way. Right there, lock it in. And then once you've cut them, you should find that they fit like a glove. And as you can see, the angle is spot on. So it's exactly the same for an outside corner. Whereas on the inside corner, you'd have it round this way and you'd push it tight into the corner. On an outside one, you're just going to flip it and do exactly the same. Just push it up, making sure it's flat on both sides. And then take a look at the scale. Again, we're using the outside arrow with the inner scale. So if you look at that, that is approximately 36 degrees. So if you wanted to do a single angle, so just say you've got a really out of plumb wall. This is well and truly exaggerated to give you an idea. 
so you can see that it leans out at an angle so it's the same process put it on make sure it's sat flat against the wall so this time you're using the inner arrow against the outer scale and that obviously moves up in twos so going by that it's about 19 so you would make your cut and then that gives you a single angle so you can see So if you check my video description, you'll see a link for my Amazon storefront. Now I paid about 19 pounds. So if you look at the equipment section, I've got a couple of links for these in the video description. And I think they're about 12 pounds now, and that's for the aluminum one. You can get a plastic one, which is a little bit cheaper, but I would highly recommend getting the aluminum one because it's gonna be a lot stronger and the numbers are actually itched on the top, so they're not gonna rub off over time. I do wanna add that any sales that are generated through my affiliate links do earn me a few pence. Won't cost you anything extra, but it's just another way for people to support the channel and make it possible for me to make videos. Right, well that's enough of me yabbering on. You should be enjoying Christmas, not listening to me. So once again, thanks for watching and until the next video, stay safe and you'll see me in the next one. Happy Christmas guys.